Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another construction and build video for the global version of Azure Lane. Uh, and as always, I've stockpiled my weekly polls so that I can reveal them all at once. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and do that right now. See what we get. I've been doing constructions on the light and the limited constructions as well. I've got my orders stocked up and hopefully we get something new. Maybe one of the event SRs. That would be fantastic. And other than that, our targets are really Belfast and any of the other SRs so that I can get some limit break material. Alright, so we'll go right through these. With any luck, we'll get some new stuff. First up, it's going to be a Thatcher. Definitely not new. One of the, uh, the Fletcher crew. Next, we have Bulldog. Also very, very, very common. Uh, oh, 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 hey, we got Shokaku! Nice! Alright, that is the... Uh, <laughs> that's the event SR. That is the one that you can't get from the exchange, uh, as well as, uh, as a drop. So that is really awesome. That's fantastic. Um, I really don't have to do uh, the event pulls anymore, actually. So, beautiful. That's great. We got one of the crane ladies, and... The other one, you know, if uh, by the end of the event, if I don't uh, summon her, uh, or if I don't get her as a drop, I can just get her from the exchange. So that is super cool. Awesome! Well, starting off strong. Well, it kind of started off rocky, but, you know, uh, it, it became strong. Okay, so we got um, Galatea. Definitely already have her. Next up, there is going to be a Konigsberg. I like her design a lot. She looks really cool. Okay, this is going to be a Hermes. I only have plenty of Hermes. And this time around, it's a Gridly. And let's see what we've got in store for the next construction. It's going to be a Craven. And last up... Okay, alright, I knew it was coming sooner or later. Looks like we're going to have to expand the dock here. Okay, so I cleared some space. Uh, I also did three quick light constructions because I needed it for the daily quests for today. So let's finish all and just see what we get. <laughs> okay, Achilles. That is not new. Uh, McCall. That is also pretty common. Uh, Karlsruhe. Uh, is that how you say it? <laughs> Karlsruhe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. And last up, we're gonna get a Ranger. Ranger is awesome. Uh, but she's common. Okay! So that's gonna round it out for this part of it. I may end up combining this. I mean, if if you by the time you see this, the video's already uploaded, so you know if I've compiled this into a much, much larger video, or if I've continued uh, on the weekly videos, but, uh, but we'll see. All right, well, let's ramp up the rest of our weekly pulls, our weekly constructions. Got, uh, I think, nine more left in this batch. So we got a downs here. That's very common. Again, we're looking for a Belfast, potentially. Foot, not what we need. One of the Fletcher fleet. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, well, <laughs> we got number one, San Diego. Uh, this is my third San Diego. Some some pretty heavy meme material, but uh, you know what? She gets a retrofit down the line that's supposed to be very good. So, you know, save up your San Diego's people because you know, she's going to be worth uh, worth leveling up down the line. So we did get another SR, certainly can't complain about that. Gonna get a Craven. Oh boy. A Foxhound, who uh, also has a retrofit that's pretty cool. <laughs> Spence, more of the Fletcher crew. Uh, Amazon, it's a rare. Uh, Alright, so we'll finish off these last two. 
This is going to be uh, Langley. And finally, <laughs> another Spence. Okay, so we did get, uh, we did manage to get a San Diego, an SR, and earlier we ended up pulling Shokaku, so uh, not bad, not bad this week at all. We ended up faring pretty well. So I, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to be compiling this into a much, much larger video or just continue with the weekly videos. I'm not sure what you guys prefer. I've seen some comments for both, so uh, I'd be interested in knowing what your opinions are. Um, but to the extent that I don't compile it uh, and we end up just doing this as a single off video, I'm just going to show you really quickly my farming teams for the uh, Visitors Died in Red event. So we have um, sort of a makeshift Fletcher team. It's not really a Fletcher team because I don't really have all the components for a Fletcher team. Um, but I do have uh, some Fletchers equipped with uh, some, some guns as well as uh, some uh, repair kits. And I've got... And we have a couple of stronger backline units here. So we can just go ahead and take a look at them. Um, so the, the cost is 34, really not that great to be honest with you. I, I really could refine it a lot more, but I haven't been running out of oil, so I've just kind of been lazily farming it the way that I've been farming it more or less. Um, but I'm refining it. I am working on leveling up uh, other components to the Fletcher crew. I'm also looking into some other effective and efficient farming teams. So if you have any suggestions, the screen always makes me sad to see Hood sinking here. It's really unfortunate. Um, so yeah, this is my farming team. The other team is is the boss killing team that, uh, or the boss killing fleet, I guess I should say, that features. It's kind of loaded with SRs more or less. Okay. So we're clearing away the little fleets with the the makeshift Fletcher crew that I have. That's kind of a bootleg Fletcher crew. <laughs> Uh, along with just Yorktown and Tennessee because they're strong backline units. I have a Shoho, but no, none of their skills are completely leveled up, so I haven't really been uh, on point with that um, fully, other than other than Fletcher, of course. Um, but yeah, this is the team that I've just been using. It's Again, it's not the most efficient, but it's just you know what I've been using to, to clear stuff. Uh, we can take a look at my main boss-killing crew. Uh, I'm probably going to switch out a couple of these ships to be a little bit more efficient. Obviously that is not an efficient oil cost, uh, but it does wreck. It certainly does wreck house, so uh, at least for now. Um, and they're equipped pretty well. Uh, I have a ton, a veritable ton, of gold boxes uh, from all of the different uh, um, fleet types countries waiting for me. I'm, I'm waiting for an update to, I think there are going to be like homing torpedoes and some other things. So I wanted to wait until those updates came out before I started opening the, uh, the T4 boxes that I have, but I've accumulated a ton of them. I'll probably make a video opening those and I'll finally have some decent equipment, but currently uh, I'm kind of going poverty here and using some, some relatively low level stuff. Um, just kind of scraping by for the time being, because again, I just want to wait for the latest update to the equipment so that I'm able to potentially get uh, the different uh, upgraded equipments that are, that are going to be added into the game. But yeah, so that's that's my farming crew and my main crew, um, just so you can see them really quickly. Uh, my main crew currently is just Hood, South Dakota, Rodney, uh, Prince Yugen, uh, Brooklyn, and Otago. But I've also been swapping uh, ships in and out of this. So this isn't, you know, my main, main crew or anything. Uh, this is just kind of what I've currently been using and, and the, uh, the ships that I've been leveling for the time being. You can see they're all, like, almost all maxed at this point, so I really do need to swap some out at this point. So that about does it. Uh, good luck on your weekly con constructions and builds. Hope you get all of the SRs that you're looking for. Certainly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like comment and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. If you didn't like the video, uh, feel free to let me know why and let me know if there's a way that we can make your viewing experience better. Uh, we thank you so much for watching. We really, really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those waters.